the sale. Notice the flat windshield and clamshell-like doors. There was a small platform up there where an officer and a lookout stood their watch. Lieutenant Hunter. Unlike the movies where a submarine would submerge in 30 to 45 seconds, diving albacore was a slow, deliberate process conducted with safety the main criteria. From the time I was told to prepare the bridge for diving, Or escape trunk was the main entry for anyone coming on board. At sea, it would be used if the boat was disabled and unable to surface. If no rescue vessel or chamber was available, three crew members at a time could escape into the water and, using inflatable life vests, rise to the surface. The bow compartment was basically enlisted crew's quarters. There were 26 bunks in this space. If you were assigned one of the upper bunks, you had to be somewhat of a gymnast to get in and out. You can see that some bunks shared space with large valves and other pieces of equipment. The electronics technician, Jim Tyrell. We sometimes thought up funny things to break the monotony when underway. One thing we did was to form human trim parties. We had a new officer learning how to trim the boat, and six of us would walk from the bow compartment aft to the machinery space, throwing his trim off. The six of us were making one end about a thousand pounds light, and the other end a thousand pounds heavy. We would wait a while until he got the trim perfect, then we would walk back forward again to the bow compartment. Pretty soon the trim pump would start up, and we would go back aft again. Finally, the chief of the watch told on us, and we were ordered to stay still. When special projects were undertaken, instrument paper had spread out over several of the pumps. That was the greater system. It was Watch ended, one of the two sleepers was up for the next watch, and the off-going watch standards combined to adjust the vacated platform. I'm founding the drunk control with the extra people on board and the front line sanitation.
see a suffering battery cell in the visitor center. At the end of this compartment is the crew's washroom and toilet facilities to serve the 50 minute crew. The toilets were flushed using seawater and drained into a second sanitary tank located under the deck. Because fresh water was costing in electricity to make it sea, fresh water using was pretty much limited to about a gallon per man per day. 